And now, broadcasting live from the Darkroom Studio at Craven Community College, it's In the Know. Good morning, everybody. I'm Megan Johnson. Welcome to In the Know podcast here at Craven Community College, New Bern campus. Today is March 14th, and as you can see next to me, it is not Craig Ramey. We have Suzanne Madison, and she is the coordinator for our continuing Oh, I'm going to mess it up. Community enrichment yes. programs. Yeah. And so she's joined us today to talk a little bit about what's going on in the community, what's going on on the campus. Yes. We've got a special guest. So, Suzanne, thanks for being here. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. It's actually a ap- wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous morning. Oh, it is. It's go- actually, this is going to be the warmest day we've had since October. So it's going to be sunny, Carolina blue skies. 83, I think. That's what I heard. Yeah. Yep, so I'm excited about that. Now, for those that know me, no, I don't like the heat, (laughs) but I don't mind variable winds and 82 and sunny. So that's good. I love it. I just love it all. That is a wonderful thing. So, again, thank you all for being here. We love um, partnering and being in the studio with Public Radio East. But I would like to throw it to the booth because we would not look good and sound good if it wasn't for Zanetta. Good morning. Good morning. And hello, Nikki. How are you? Hi. Welcome, everybody. Thanks again, and thanks for keeping us straight, Zanetta. We appreciate it so much. Um, So Craig is actually, he's going, he's gone to a conference so he can get uh, smarter and more in the know, and he can bring it back to us. And so we're real excited for him to have that opportunity to get away. I, we Professional development is always a wonderful thing for it is. us it and is our definitely. staff. And sometimes it's tough to step away from the office because we've got so much going on. In fact, we're going to be talking about all that's going on on the campus between now and the end of the calendar, the um, semester. Mm-hmm. And so we've just got so much stuff. So um, later, let me share our guest down the down at the end of the table. We are going to have Crew Paul, and she's the owner and instructor of Nine Limb Strikers at Martial Arts and Fitness Center here in New Bern. And she is actually one of Suzanne's newest yes. instructors. So <laughs> we're going to talk a little bit more about um, what she's going to bring to the college in a little bit. So, yes, yeah, so well, excited. Yeah, Crew, thanks again for coming back and being our guest. We're so grateful you're here today. Yes, thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. Wonderful. So, you know, I always like to kind of throw a little something fun in here, a little like, I don't know, a little national day of, you know, something totally random, absolutely not necessary. Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> I, yeah, are you ready, are Suzanne? You ready? So today happens to be National Potato Chip Day. So we, <laughs> potato chips have become one of the world's most popular snacks to ever hit the market. While this salty creation can now be made with a wide variety of methods and spiced with all kinds of delicious flavors. Some way, some may ask, however, was the invention of the potato chip where, and where did it come from? So do we have a slide for that one? Where did it come from? There it is. March 14th. Yes. So National Potato Day. So let's include salty, cheesy, onion, prawn cocktail that sounds horrible um salt and vinegar sour (laughs) cream we actually talked about um dill pickle before we came on the air that that might be a popular one so what we would like you to do in the comments of course we love that you're watching but if you'll go in the comments and share with us your favorite potato chip flavor and we'd love to hear and why and do you like so when we were a kid did you put potato chips suzanne on your sandwich so when you bit into it it crunched uh, sorry, no. Really? Zanetta, did you ever do that? Put potato chips in between your sandwich and crunch on them? I take oh, it you did. Oh, that's the best, especially after swimming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a great beach thing, too, because you get that little salt and you got, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I don't care if it was peanut butter and jelly or if it was ham and cheese. Throwing oh. a potato chip in there was quite delicious. So, yeah. It's also, because it is March 14th, this also happens to be National Pie Day. Because that wonderful, silly infinity number happens to start with 3.14. So today is the third month, 14th day. So we are going to celebrate National Pi Day. Even Mm. those who aren't avid mathematicians can memorize the pi sequence. That would not be Megan Johnson doing that. (laughs) If they put their minds to it, although it is not likely a person will have enough time in their life to name all 3.14 trillion digits why 
I don't know why, but I'm sure somebody has tried. Uh, apparently, it's pretty common for people to try to memorize the first hundred digits. Um, I, I like the first three, 3.14. 3. 3.14, that, that's perfect. That it, says it enough. It's enough. Yeah, yeah it's, it's enough. at least if somebody come in, came to you and said, hey, what's the equate, What's the pi. number for pi? 3.14. Bingo, done. done. Yep, that's all I need to know. Don't need to know 100 of them. So, but if you would like to memorize it or you have done it, comment. We'd like to know that because we might have to come and talk to you. <laughs> there might right. be an intervention required, Why? Suzanne. Why? Yeah. <laughs> so, speaking of interventions, let's talk a little bit about health and fitness and self defense with our guest. So, Suzanne, would you like to introduce Crew again? So, yes, I would love to introduce Crew Paul. She is our self defense instructor. And she will be practicing Mai Tai and self-defense within our upcoming community enrichment program class. And I will turn it over to Crew. And thank you for having me, guys. Absolutely. So uh, I have been practicing martial arts since I was like five and six years old. And um, while well, I do sport aspect as a competitor and... When I get older, I got into the self-defense aspect, and it's really amazed me how someone can know so little and make a big difference as far as protecting themselves. Um, I do understand that not a lot of people would have a lot of time to go to the gym. Uh, some some people have uh, limit time, or maybe uh, physical fitness wise. Mm -hmm. But you, there are a lot of tools and knowledge that can keep you safe in the long run. Now, this class is for all ages? This class is for all ages. And it's coming up in March. March, we have the dates there? I think it's April uh, 15th. It's, yes, April 15th. April 15th is uh, actually Thailand's New Year. Do you guys know that? Oh, oh no, I did not know that. Wow. Wow. Well, happy early New Year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a, a picture of that too, Zanetta, don't we? The um, the slide for the yes, there it the is. basic defense. So here, I'm going to grab this real quick if I may. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be um, April 15th through May 8th. And, that's, and then again, uh, back in the fall, we'll have another one. What are the times for this, Suzanne? Are they evenings? These are evening classes. Evening classes, 6 o'clock to 7. Mm -hmm. And what Six days of the week? Monday and Wednesday. Monday, Wednesday. Okay, very good. So two nights a week. So it's going to be good strength training as well, I'm sure. It probably balance, right? Somebody has difficulty with balance. But you were talking about the physical level. So all age groups, as, mm -hmm. as Suzanne brought up. But what? tell me about physical limitations or how somebody may be aging. What kind of steps that can you show them to help? defend themselves yes uh, this course is four weeks long and I have uh, set up four weeks of four different circumstance um, when we talk about martial arts a lot of that is understand how to de-escalate situation okay. um, versus hates on trying to fight right and of course that will happen um, for as far as the self-defense techniques, um, that would be different uh, techniques that some anyone can do it and someone with uh, less to none fitness level can do. Uh, of course, this course is different because uh, in in my school at Nylum Strikers, um, those are more like a physical don't you think a, a lot more um, cardio involved and a lot of exercise and balance and for this basic self-defense course is a little bit less on cardio and i'm talking to our friends at home who uh, who are not a big fan of going to the gym and burn a lot of calorie but you can still uh, learn the self-defense to protect yourself and this is a great class for increasing your confidence, and it's an it's very empowering. Absolutely for for everyone. I would think it it might um, be great for maybe some women may appreciate a class like this. Um, it's just a really good confidence booster as well, isn't it? Absolutely yes. Um, 
there are small things that you can do as far as like protecting yourself, understand the surrounding awareness. Yeah. Um, uh, I learned from a really good teacher a long time ago. Uh, for example, when you get um, when you get in bad situation, and as a fighter, I I can name all the self defense techniques, right? And oh, this is what I can do. This is what I can do. And my teacher said, "Have you ever noticed uh, when you watch the movie that um, the police team, that this team, call negotiation? So it or." Even though they have all the tools, they can win this bad guy. You know, they talk first. Mm-hmm. They they communicate fight first. Last. They, they fight last. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. I mean, you don't think about that. You think if somebody's grabbing you, well, yeah. somebody's grabbing me from behind. I think I'm going to have to fight, and we're not talking. Um, <laughs> so, right. But right. if it's something in front, maybe that's a different story. But I'm sure you're going to show all those different scenarios, like you said, for each one of those weeks. Absolutely. And you don't have to know martial arts to take this class. You don't have this to. This is a beginning class. This may be uh, a very good venue if you just want to see if you're interested because we're going to continue with classes so there will be other opportunities to increase your skills as well. You know what I was just thinking about? You know, um, this is that time of year, that April 15th to May 8th where graduations are coming up and things yeah. like that. This would be a really wonderful college graduation gift to give to somebody um, to encourage them to go because you think just a few months after that they're going to be doing they're going to be at college and I mean I meant high school students because they're going to be going off to college and so this is a great opportunity to make that like you were saying the confidence building Mm -hmm. and um, being more knowledgeable and also I'm sure it's also just not the negotiation but I'm sure there's going to be you know basic common sense which if you haven't if you grew up in New Bern and you've never been exposed to a big city you don't know what to expect for <laughs> quote-unquote common sense you Absolutely. know common sense street there is smarts. different than our common sense we call it street street smarts street okay. smart yeah for example um I have a friend who lived in New York she said um when you are waiting for a train, you never stand off the wall. Very you always to, yeah. get your back against the wall, mm-hmm. right? So no one can push you when the train comes. People do that for fun sometimes. Oh, that does not sound like fun. <laughs> no. It's, so like how <laughs> so, to identify risky situations yes. and not put yourself in there in those Absolutely. situations. And, and what to do possibly if you do find yourself in, in a situation such as that. Sometimes life happens and it's not always something that you can control. So being in a situation you might, this may, the class may come in handy. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. So tell us about the location. Will it be here on the campus or will it be at your studio? Uh, it will be here in the campus. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, what is that room, the law enforcement? It's the law enforcement room. So we have um, oh, the big pads, padded rooms. pads yeah. on the floor. Yeah. So it's a, going to be very safe. So it's in Ward Hall, right yes. here in the middle of our campus. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. On the main campus in Ward Hall. And what's the best way for folks that are interested, Suzanne, to get registered and get any of other information or ask well, crew questions if they have well, questions? Well, if anyone has a question, they can actually call me directly, which would be uh, 252-638-1519. And I will relay information or answer any questions you may have. And... Um, yeah, that would be. And Zanetta will put the link can, in there directly, also for um, f- so how they can and you can apply register online, online right? right through our website. You can mm-hmm. apply online as well. Yes, very yes. good. Yes, as uh, you guys mentioned a little bit earlier, this would be a great gift for someone uh, that children go off to college mm-hmm. and uh, stay away from town. So uh, this course would also go through uh, items that you can use to protect yourself. Um, yeah. Back five years ago, items that you can use to protect yourself is different than item that we have right now. It's because uh, the generation is different. Whatever the teenager have in their purse is different. And we can go through that and see what tool and which tool can help them prevent injury or can protect themselves. Can you give us an example? Um, for example, a key. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Um, your shoes. Okay. Your jewelry. Mm-hmm. Your bras. Mm-hmm. Also, you know, when you walk into your vehicle, 
um, I didn't have the luxury because we have an older vehicle that would have the alarm button yeah. on my remote. But now with a newer vehicle, you've got that red that'll your horn will go crazy, you know, and it, it alerts enough to scare somebody off, hopefully, or to get somebody else's attention to assist in in the meantime. But always having, like you said, having a game plan is so important. Yes, ma'am. Um, having uh sorry i'm lost for a moment <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about having a plan like you going into a situation and not going in not sitting there texting on your phone and understanding what's going on around around you the being aware of your surroundings yes. where you park might be important or don't get lost in the parking lot like i do like what? which side did i Talk- park on harris <laughs> Dieter? <laughs> did i go on the right or the left when you're out with friends you go out with three friends come back with three friends <laughs> you know? Know this, uh, mm-hmm. I think that's very important. Notice your surrounding awareness. Yeah. For example, you go uh, to your friend's house, for example. Um, the, best, the best example is when you get on an airplane and the flight attendant would tell you, mind the, uh, be care- uh, sorry, uh, look for the closest exit. exit right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Emergency exit. Yes, emergency exit. And also when we travel with our friends or any place at all, uh, notice where is the closest house that you can see. Um, this mm-hmm. also applied to like, well, it's not a dangerous situation, but if my car broke down, I can go to the closest help. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and when was the last person that passed by? For example, you went out f- hiking. Um, mm-hmm. I passed someone like maybe five minutes ago. Maybe you can call for help. For example, uh, you can mm-hmm. t- head toward that direction. Um, surrounding awareness. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very good. To be aware. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm so sorry. Throw it at us. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. So I I learned martial arts and for self-defense many years ago and adults always tell me go call for help right and not taking self-defense class but uh have you ever remember how long it took you to open a door when someone ring the door like how long does it take me to get to the door to open it yes and and now someone just it, it depends. Well. If somebody rings the doorbell and I'm in my nightgown. Might be a little um, while. I may not answer. <laughs> uh, so, but if I'm dressed and I recognize the vehicle in the in the front and I can actually put eyes on somebody, um, I'll do it. I mean, I'll yes. open the door, but uh, I don't open up to strangers. Um, I'm not even really cool about opening it up to like a delivery person, only because my dog will not like it. So, so uh, that's come back to self defense class. Um, when we ask for help, uh, people always, you know, we always been taught that okay, you're gonna run to somebody and ring the door. They will, they will call for help for us. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I see what she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> now I get what she's saying. Mm-hmm. Like I might not have been really cool about helping. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> so, well, look, if someone Don't running right bell. behind you're me. Don't help. ring my bell if I'm in my nightgown. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get help if she's in her nightgown. Yes. Well, before we go ask for help, okay, maybe prepare a few minutes. If if we are, we are lucky, um, prepare a few minutes for these people to open the door to to rescue you. Um, and there's something to consider. So m- earlier you mentioned about plan. Mm-hmm. Plan. Right. Yes. Um, and we can think about uh, the horror movie where, like, this guy just running right behind you. Okay, give give you prepare a few minutes. You might have to fight. You might have to struggle. P- prepare a few minutes mm. for the help to arrive. Um, uh, Z Zanetta might might need few minutes to like okay uh, get off her couch. You know <laughs> um, who is ringing this bell? I I don't recognize. You yeah. know who are gonna be here? So. That is something uh, in basic self-defense class. Other than calling for help, we might need few minutes to. Okay, we're gonna plan this out. What are you gonna tell? What are you going to tell people that you need help? Mm, that, okay. which is sometimes hard when you're in panic mode. So that's it, the importance of having a class like this. You can actually practice a scenario. You know, mm-hmm. it's you know, it's like the role play part. You and know, it's that's not really only physical; it's psychological as well. Yeah. So in that preparation. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, right. Yep. Absolutely. So, so we um, 
I don't want to we got a ton of stuff for community mm-hmm. stuff. So crew, I am I'm real excited about this program. Um, I think a, there are community enrichment uh, opportunities are vast, and we're going we to talk a little bit more about her. those. Yes. Yep. And, and crew, the class is filling. Class is quickly filling. Sign up, register. Can you? Do you have a cost offhand? Do you remember a window? Our cost is ninety dollars. Okay. Yes, and it's for how many weeks? Four. Four weeks, two nights a week. And it starts April 15th through May 8th at, yes. um, here on our New Bern campus. And the Ward, Ward Hall. Ward yes. Hall. Wonderful. So we'll, we'll have the link up so you can take a look at that. And um, I know we've got, uh, we'll talk some more about some of the other programs yes. that you have coming up as well. And um, so... Crew, thanks again. We really you. appreciate you being out here today. We love the fact that you continue to help support the community with self-defense and bringing um, enlightenment and, and awareness to what uh, what self-defense is. And you know and, and that it shouldn't be scary; it should be approachable. And we really appreciate you doing that for us. So thank you, um, absolutely. So in the meantime, I think Zanetta has uh, f- rebooted our cameras because we we only have a few little lifetime there. But we are now going to talk about what's going on in the community and we are doing community events and i will start off we've got the newcomers club of new Bern, march 14th 7 to 8 30 p.m at the harris center Welcome to all New Bern newcomers. Join the Newcomers Club for their March meeting, where a representative from the Route 70 project will be presenting. This presentation has always drawn a big crowd, so come early. Doors open at 6.15 to allow for socialization before the meeting begins. Now, the Route 70 project, I think, is this whole bypass and construction and what it, yes. where they are now and what it's going to look like in the future. An so, update of the, all of that, yes. Yep, yep. All, all right. right, so we also have the importance of being earnest. This uh, happens on March 15th and 16th at 7 p.m. at the Grover Seafields Auditorium. Treat yourself to some classic fun with the outstanding comedy, The Importance of Being Earnest, this opening weekend. Tickets can be purchased at the Bank of the Arts or online at nchistorytheater.org. They've also, if you're on Facebook, obviously if you are, if you're watching us, um, (laughs) they actually put out a trailer uh, and it was really, really funny. So you want to go and take a look at that as well. I, we, we're really excited for them. All right, SpongeBob, the musical, March 15th and 16th, 7.30 p.m. and March 17th at 2 p.m., New Bern Civic Theater. Do you know who lives in a pineapple under the sea? I should have sung that, but I don't want to. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> come find out an opening. Uh, come find out at the opening weekend of this junior musical at Newburn Civic Theater. Tickets can be purchased at newburncivictheater.org. Come out and walk with a doc. This is March 16th at 9 a.m. at Creekside Park. Uh, go to the New Bern Mall if it rains. It's supposed to be pretty, so I think they're pushing for Creekside. Mm-hmm, I think so. This month's Walk with a Doc features a short presentation by Bethany Richards from the Bike Box Project and how the mechanics of boxing can help those affected by Parkinson's disease. The event is free and open to the public. After a short presentation, there will be a 1.5-mile walk in a loop. All ages and all abilities are welcome to join for all or part of the walk. All right. The 18th Century Time Travelers Tour, March 16th at 9.30 a.m. Tryon Palace. What a pretty picture that is, too, Mm. by the way. I bet our friend Meredith did that. (laughs) Join Tryon Palace for this brand new tour as you take an adventure back to the 18th century. Meet Governor Tryon's cook and learn about the cuisine of that time. You'll also meet the local apothecary to learn more, uh, to learn about common remedies and the instruments of surgery. Bet that is pretty <laughs> uh-uh. rudimentary, don't uh-huh. you think? Exactly. And don't forget the fashion trends. Those were pretty cool. This tour includes access to the gardens and the military encampment. Tickets can be purchased at the ticket desk or online at tryonpalace.org. There is a 2024 artisan, Artisans Affair, March 16th, 11 a.m., Havelock <laughs> Tourist and Event Center. Come out for an evening to experience local artistry. There will be local artists, hors d'oeuvres, beer and wine sampling, and live music. Tickets are $5 at the door. Kids five and under are free. 
Harry Goodman Battlefield Adventure Day, March 16th at 1 p.m., the Newburn Battlefield Park. Come out for an annual springtime event for the whole family. The afternoon will be filled with learning activities and learning history. This event is open to all. But registration is required for $5 per family member with a maximum of $20 charge. So max of $20 for the family. Arrive by 1230 for troop res- registration and the muster. Visit Newburn Historical Dot org. Yep, that was going to say something else, but it's wrong. <laughs> NewburnHistorical.org for a full list of activities. Outlander in the Palace, March 16th, 4.30 p.m. at the Tryon Palace. Step into the world of Outlander and explore the lives of the fictional Fraser family, their friends, and their interactions with true historical figures in the colony of North Carolina. This tour covers books four to eight of Diana Gobledon's beloved series and seasons mm, four four to seven seven of the renowned Star series. This tour includes access to the stable office, the gardens, and the encampments. Tickets can be purchased at the ticket desk or online at tryonpalace.org. So the young man over there on the right Mm -hmm. does not look like he's taking battle seriously. (laughs) Look at that little smile. I like that. That's really cute. (laughs) Suzanne, have you um, watched or read any of the Outlander series? Uh, Actually, I have not. Okay. Not yet. I will. I've watched some of it. Yeah. um, And then then there was a big gap. And then I kind of tagged in at the end when my daughter was watching a little bit. (laughs) Because it actually, um, well, I, I don't want, spoiler alert, I don't want to do it. But it does kind of come close to... North Carolina ish. Uh, yeah. I won't. <laughs> She's like, it comes here. I know it comes here. I didn't want to spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but watch it. It's actually, it's pretty cool. If you like history with a twist, with a little bit of um, uh, mystical, that's that's kind of what this is, you know. But it, the costumery is beautiful. The cinematography is beautiful. Yes. Um, some of the guys are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Most of the girls Notice are beautiful. That, huh? Yeah, I did. I noticed <laughs> uh-huh. that. All right. Guess what? We got stuff happening at the college. We do. We do. We got lots of stuff. Um, today, it, or the last day to apply for spring graduation is March 15th. That shall be tomorrow. Yes. So please hurry to campus and get that done. Um, and, and I know that they will walk you through it. And there's always a little bit of grace involved. So I'm mm-hmm. just going to leave it at that. And also at the end of March, mm-hmm. the campus food life, li- campus life food drive, goes until the end of March. Yes. So if you've got food you'd like to donate, take it to Word Hall, um, and you will see the campus life office. And or there may be, I think there's buckets and station, not buckets, but baskets and yeah. boxes around that you can bring your stuff. Donation basket. Donations. Yes, we need that. Uh, and that's going directly to our Panther Pantry. So that's going to help support students that are f- food insecure on all of our campuses. That's the Volt, yeah. the main campus, as well as Havelock. Yes. So highly encourage you to do that. The Great American Eclipse Lecture. That's going to be March 21st at 630 at Oranger Auditorium. CEP classes, that is Community Enrichment Program classes. We have several classes coming up from now uh, through actually May and June. We've got basic photography, oil painting, beginner Spanish, introduction to American Sign Language. We have a salmon bake dinner and baking for beginners. And pies, let's make pies. Pies. We've got a, talking about pie on pies, pie day. Back to pies. We've got an America's boating course in May, and the middle of May, I believe, is uh, boating week. So America's boating course, sign up right away. Basic self defense again. Crew is coming back, and uh, intro to belly dancing starts in April. We've got meditation and introduction to yoga as well. So several and varied choices. Almost anything you could want Very is good. there. A lot of fun. So we encourage you to go to the Craven webpage, and of course, we, we're gonna that link will be up there um, yes. specifically for the self defense. But in the search engine, just type in um, CEP, and it'll pop up your classes. Yes. So. That's a great way to search it, an easy way to search it. Spring showers bring STEM powers, March 23rd, 10 a.m. at the Havelock campus. And so this is a great introduction for young families to um, come out and all the way up to, you know, young teens to kind of uh, explore our STEM opportunities on the Havelock campus. Okay, and tickets are on sale now for the Founders Day Ball. And I believe the ticket sales go through April 12th. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Um, and I think it's $10 for students and $20 for staff. Don't hold me to that, but I believe that's what I saw when I walked in the door. Okay. Spring break is coming up. It's going to be from April 1st to the 8th. Students and faculty have off that whole week, uh, but the college will only be closed on April 1st, that Monday, Easter Monday. Mm. And so the, the college will be back open. So if you need any services or assistance, or if you're taking any workforce development courses, yes. we will still be on campus. Yes, and April 8th, summer registration begins April 8th. We're going to have a star party. Who's going to be there? Just kidding. Stars. Stars. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, April 9th, 7.30 p.m. at Flanners Beach. So look that one up. That's going to be fun. And I think that's being put on by uh, one of our staff that's our faculty in the astronomy program. And Suzanne... That is a lot of stuff going on here it, on campus. It is. It is. Um, Zanetta, thanks again for uh, helping us to Thank make you, today Z. run smoothly and get us out there. If you are watching today, please like, please share, make sure you've subscribed so it pops up and you don't have to go looking for it. <laughs> um, if you are watching us on repeats with YouTube, we love that you're s taking the time to sit down with us on this Thursday morning or whatever time of day and week that you are re-watching it. So we're just grateful for that. The cool yes. thing is, is that we're giving you information, getting you in the know about what's going on at the college and in the community. And it's really kind of, even though a date may pass, it's still relevant information that you can gather and know where to go and find what's going on next. So grateful for our crew who came out today to talk about um, self-defense self -defense and what that's going to offer for uh, people and their, their personal protection and safety. So I'm going to be back next week. Suzanne, thanks for pitch inning for Craig. So grateful to have you over to, here to my left. You are welcome. Always a pleasure. Absolutely. And we will be back next week for the In the Know, episode 87. Can you believe that? It's March 21st. Wow. And I know. So in wow. the meantime, we hope you stay safe, stay happy, and stay healthy. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.